Hi, this is Steve from Big Bear Bushcraft. Uh, just out uh, down a little place near Wareham on a holiday trip for a week with some friends. As you can tell, it's a little bit sleety, snowy. Uh, I'm trying not to let that phase us. Trying to get out and do a few videos today. I'm probably seeing my dog running around a little bit from time to time. Uh, today, what we'd like to do is uh, beginning of February. What we'd like to do is uh, try and set up a few different types of uh, tarpaulins, uh, a few different setups. Um, Obviously for out whilst you're in the woods, obviously overnight camping, but uh, also things like go bags, things like that. So uh, we're going through a few different setups, hopefully we'll show you those, maybe something, you know, floats your boat and uh, gives you, inspires you to do something. Uh, well, hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is an army poncho. Um, lots of people have been asking me about um, something they can use for shelter in their go bags or bug out bags um, and this is an absolute fantastic piece of kit uh, so we're going to just go through this today obviously the first thing is it's a poncho so you can put it over you it's a waterproof um, and obviously you're talking about something that's doing dual purpose then so it's absolutely fantastic for that uh, this particular one it's lovely and big I'm just going to move up lovely and big for a big lad like me it's going to cover me nice uh, nice and easy uh, lovely and waterproof. But the nice thing about this as well is, unpop all the poppers, and you have yourself a tarpaulin. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up uh, this as a tarpaulin uh, shelter, just a quick and easy one, and uh, we'll come back with you and uh, just show you why this is so good. Right. Okay, so here we've got the uh, the tarp set up, uh, the poncho. As you see, I'm about six foot one. Um, there's plenty of room in here. Get my feet right back down to the back here. Um, and as you can see, this is quite low down to the ground. There's a lot of wind around today. Um, I'm probably I'm in the wrong position for it, but unfortunately, this is the only way the tree was kind of letting us set up easy. There's a lot of water around on the ground, but just for demonstration purposes. But uh, basically, with this, with just one tree, you can set up this, um, this uh, poncho. I've just got a small ground sheet. These are very inexpensive, literally just a few pounds um, from eBay. Um, and this, then with some form of sleeping bag, this will keep you nice and cosy for the night. If it's uh, cold, you can even put a small fire, as long as you're not letting the smoke coming into the, uh, to the uh, the tarpaulin you'll be fine with that obviously you don't want smoke inhalation but um, you can set a, a fire here and this allows a fire to be all along here um, so it means that you're going to have that reflective heat going around so you make yourself a mini cl uh, climate here um, a little worse miniature environment for yourself um, so yeah it's just really good so what I do now is I'm going to climb myself back out of this and uh, just go through a few different things of how I set it up uh, trying to make it as easy as possible um, tried not to cut the cordage uh, so that it could be used again. That's one of the big things I really feel about. If I don't have to cut it, I don't like to. I'd rather have it a load of it laying on the ground, to be honest with you, that I can use again, because you never know. Whereas if you just keep cutting it and cutting it and cutting it, in the end you're going to run out. Um, and in a situation like this, you, yeah, where you might not be able to get to something easy, um, again for a little while, you want to make sure that you can use that for other purposes. So go through a few little bits now. So we've, talk, we've spoken about the, um, the actual uh, shelter itself, being in it. Now just going to go through you quickly uh, how we quickly did this. Uh, firstly, obviously just wrap around the tree. This is just a quick release knot. I'm not going to tell you which quick release knot to use, you're going to use whatever you want to use. Well, even if it's just a knot, you're just in a hurry, just get it round a tree and get it as tight as possible, basically. Then I've just come down to the first diagonal corner. This is run like a, like a diamond shape. So the first diagonal corner we came to, all I did was I, I used a small piece of uh, stick, as you can see there. I just ran a loop in through the eyelet. So you just had a loop coming through ran the stick through and then pulled back on itself. So the stick is putting against that eyelet, so it cannot come free. I mean, look at that. It cannot come free from that. It meant then, I'm not then having to just have a short length that I've cut. I can continue this down. This then makes a ridge line. So you follow this down, you can, you can see that's quite tall. 
moved down and then the actual anchor point of this ridge line is then the hood of the poncho. So all I did was I just literally wrapped around a couple times using the cordage, the paracord, and then tied very quickly the hood onto the paracord as well. This again, this is not slipping, this is now waterproof, it's not going anywhere, okay? This then allows you to go and using a tree, normally hopefully you'll have some small branch or something above you, you can come off of this and straight up. I fortunately have a small tree just off, which shows a lot easier than trying to swing this up over a branch or something. But obviously different conditions vary. So again, just kept it tall, came up to it and tied it off again. I've kept all of my cordage here, all the paracord is here, that has not been cut at all. But it does mean that you've now used everything you need to use in one piece of cordage, which is great. The only other thing you'll need, whether you want to make this from wood, pegs, or you want to carry metal pegs, I do carry a couple metal pegs, they're very lightweight, I'm a big boy, I can carry these things. Three of those, one then in the opposite diagonal corner to begin with, and then one on the other, the other two corners over there. This will then make this nice and tall. As you can see, this is down to the ground. Any water is going to get shed very quickly off of this. I then use two extra wooden pegs just because it's a bit blowy today. You can use that. It just stops it flapping about. This is very, very simple shelter. And this is what we're talking about. If you're talking about a situation, we're not talking about so much bushcraft here, although you can use it as that. You're talking more about an emergency shelter. And uh, this is kind of the, some of the things I wanted to uh, look into today. This we actually set up within about a minute to two minutes. It was very simple, very quick. And when you're dealing with things like hypothermia, rain, cold, you want to be under shelter as fast as possible. This poncho is going to keep you dry whilst you're walking to your destination, wherever it is you feel you need to get to for that day. It will then keep you dry overnight. It will keep the cold off of you. It will be reflective for that fire. So it will make it very, this is a very good shelter. The ponchos, they can go very cheap. You can buy very cheap ones, they're very plastic. They're not going to hold up. That's the one thing I'll say to you. A good military style or proper military, this is an American Army one, uh, these will hold up. They will be, they will last the course. Um, you, with a go bag or a bug out bag, you're talking hopefully three days. So it's up to you how much you want to spend on these things. I would say 20 pounds is a good bet that you're going to get a pretty good one. A couple pounds for that underneath shelter, pegs you don't even have to buy, you can make them yourself if you wanted to, uh, but you can buy those at like a pound shop uh, for 10, so you only need to carry three of them. Um, and then obviously just a piece of cordage again, again you can buy this literally for, for pounds, you know, a pound you can get these in pound shops these days, and you'll get 20 metres of the stuff. So this is a very inexpensive shelter that can be used A, for if you're out and about and you, and you, you want to be lightweight, or B, if this is an emergency, put this in your bag, put this in the boot of your car. I really would recommend this. Right, on to the next one. Yeah,